It's now time for the men's finalists, all three of which are football players this year. And again, please stand as your name is called. I know I'm reading through a lot of uh, accomplishments as we go along. Some of them might seem to run together a little bit, but really focus in on what these kids have uh, done. Their accomplishments as a student and an athlete are absolutely uh, astounding. And uh, you're, you found that out with the women's uh, honor race tonight and men's as well. Northwest Missouri's Miles Burnside's. Tackler for the national champion Bearcats who won their final 14 games. He was named first team All American by the American Football Coaches Association and Don Hansen's Football Gazette. He was a first team All Region selection. He was named second team All America by Dactronics and the Associated Press. He was also an All MIAA first team selection. In 2008, he was the Ron Lenz National Defensive Player of the Year, selected by Cosida, the first National Player of the Year in program history and was named the first team All-American by four publications. He held a 3.9 undergrad cumulative GPA while obtaining a degree in business management, holds a 3.86 graduate GPA as he works towards his Master of Business Administration for which he's completed 21 of 33 credits. He's a two-time academic All-American including first team honors in 2009 and he was the Northwest Marketing Student of the Year and is a four-time Distinguished Scholar Award winner. Burnside has left a significant footprint in community service. He's held at the Northwest Spring Work Day, held annually every April, as well as highway cleanup and yard cleanup around Maryville. He's worked at the Northwest Football Camps and helped with Fitness Day at Horace Mann Elementary, Reading Day at Horace Mann, and he has read Christmas stories to schools in Florence, Alabama during the week of the National Championship. Northwest Missouri's Miles Burnside. Our next men's nominee is Nebraska Omaha's Mike Higgins. <laughs> Mike was a 2009 Dactronic second team All American at tight end after leading the Mavs with 43 catches for 770 yards and nine touchdowns. He was fourth in the conference in receptions in league games, fourth in reception yardage per game, and was named to the 2009 All MIAA first team. He was also a Dectronics All Super Region 4 selection, a first team All Super Region 4 pick by Don Hansen's Football Gazette, and a D2Football.com second team All American. Off the field, Higgins was a Dean List member with posting a 3.94 GPA during the fall semester and was a Chancellor's List member with a 4.0 GPA this spring. He has a 3.96 cumulative GPA in civil engineering. He's a member of the American Society of Civil Engineers and of Chi Epsilon, the National Civil Engineering Honor Society. Higgins has received the Walter Scott Jr. Scholarship, the most prestigious scholarship extended by UNO's Peter Kiewit Institute. Higgins received the school's humanitarian award and its year in banquet for community service efforts. He's participated in seven days of service, lending his skills to Habitat for Humanity, has served meals at the Open Door Mission, visited residents at Quality Living, Inc., and has offered his football know-how to the Fellowship of Christian Athletes Football Camp. He has also volunteered as a coach during physical education classes at St. Mary's Elementary School in Omaha. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Higgins. And our final nominee tonight, Washburn's Zach Watkins. <laughs> Zach led the MIAA in tackles for the third time in four years in 2009, earning both MIAA Defensive Player of the Year and the Dactronics Regional Defensive Player of the Year. He was named an 09 AFCA First Team All-American and was a unanimous All-MIAA First Team pick. Played in the 2010 Cactus Bowl All-Star Game, where he was voted team captain. Watkins finished his career as Washburn's all-time leader in total tackles with 473, which is third all-time in NCAA Division II history and the most in MIAA history for a career since the 2000 season when the NCAA recognized defensive tackles. Watkins maintained a 3.52 QGPA and graduated in December 
with his degree in finance. He's a two-time ESP of the magazine, co-sided academic all-district selection, and was a 2008 academic all-American. He will be named to the 0910 MIAA Scholar Athlete Team after recording a GPA of at least 3.5 and earning first team all MIAA honors, and will also be named to the MIAA's academic honor roll. He was the recipient of the Dale Marco Leadership Scholarship from the Washburn School of Business. Watkins served as a tutor for the football team, was a Special Olympics volunteer, a volunteer at the Capper Foundation in Topeka, and a volunteer coach at the Washburn Blue Crew Football Camp. Ladies and gentlemen, Washburn's Zach Watkins. And again at this time, Dr. Boerichter will help present this year's award to the 2009-2010 Ken B. Jones Award winner, Miles Burnside. Congratulations, Miles, Cassandra, and all of our finalists. Have a nice round of applause for our Kennedy Jones Award winners and our finalists, 2009-2010. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it has certainly been a tremendous night. There is one other group I would like to recognize, and they were tremendously instrumental in pulling off this fine awards banquet this evening, and that is the United Lake Conference office staff. Please join me in giving them a round of applause. Larry House in the back. Kelly Coleman up to the side, running the operation, the PowerPoint, Natasha Oates, and Emily Moses. It is a pleasure to find my colleagues, and you're also very good friends of mine as well, and very, good, very well done here this evening. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the 2009-2010 MIAA Awards Banquet. One final note, we would ask that the 2010 Niagara Hall of Fame class and all of our Ken B. Jones uh, finalists here this evening Please gather in the back. We would like to get a photo of you by the uh, MIAA backdrop. So if you would please do that at the conclusion of tonight's presentation, or at the conclusion of tonight's awards banquet, we thank you. And also, if you are interested in any of the photos taken here this evening or would like to take a look at those, the official photographer of the MIAA, Matthew S. Hicks, will have a link at the official website of the MIAA. And again, that is www.themiaa.com. You can view those photos. Once again, congratulations to all of our award winners tonight.